Hey guys, how's it going? Michael Troy here. Today we're looking at Jack Kirby's Star Warriors, starring Adam Starr and the Solar Legion by Tom Scioli from Image Comics. Such a beautiful book. I really enjoyed this. It's been in my pile for a long time and I cannot wait to share it with you today. So subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that like button and let's get right into it. Um, in preparation for this, I was thinking it was the first Tom Scioli book that I was reviewing. But then I remember that I also reviewed um, his Jack Kirby biography, but just the excerpt, the free comic book day version. And that was quite an enjoyable little read. So I'm happy to dive into this. It's quite a different thing. Um, Jack Kirby uh, definitely is uh, obviously the focus of a lot of Tom Scioli's work. Um, Tom Scholle did the uh, Fantastic Four Grand design and is associated with the cartoonist K Fabes, although he does seem a little more like off on his own doing his own kind of thing. Um, but he definitely um, does a lot of projects that involve Kirby. Um, his YouTube channel is largely de dedicated to Kirby. So I think it's fair to say that Tom Scholle owes a lot of his career to the legacy of Jack Kirby. So this is interesting. It's largely called like a remix throughout the book. Um, apparently a 22 year old Jack Kirby did like uh, this strip for this anthology. And um, then this is before Joe Simon and Joe Simon was like, uh, don't work for these people, come work with me. I'll find you better page rates and a better experience. And they went on to create Captain America and the rest is history. So. This is kind of a glimpse. Um, it's interesting to uh, review something like this because I'm not familiar with the source material. You know, it's credited as like remixed by Tom Scioli. So I feel that that is sort of like mm, kind of a blanket statement on what you could actually be doing here. You know what I mean? Since I don't have the source material to compare it to, I don't know how much of it is like direct homaging, um, you know, remix. I, I, can't, I can't help but think of like Gus Van Sant's um, remake of Psycho, where he did every a remake of the entire movie frame for frame, but did it in color. I think it was an interesting experiment, but a huge expensive, like, um, almost like, uh, what do you call it? Just a vanity project. So in a way, it does seem like Tom Scioli's projects uh, lean a little towards vanity project. I think the whole grand design concept is a vanity project in itself. It's bizarre to me that you would take an entire like history of a character or sort of like a, a property and sort of just like encapsulate it and like do your own spin and um, version of it. You know what I mean? Um, but um, I mean, it's also great in a way for somebody who can't, you know, like collect and or hasn't been here for 30 years to collect it. So it's almost like a Cliff's Notes in a way. Sometimes, I don't know. But I have to say, like, um, one thing you can tell, like, you know, reviewing the Jack Kirby book is very different because it's more of a biography. And this is like, we're getting into like, uh, more of Tom's approach as like a comic book storyteller, I think. Like, this is very sci-high heavy, heavy. It's very gorgeous, I have to say. Like, very, you know, like Flash Gordon. This feels like... You know, definitely in the same wheelhouse as, you know, uh, Flash Gordon and Buck Rogers and all that. Um, which is kind of interesting because it's like, uh, he goes on to say, like, you know, would an Adam Star have been, like, the greatest comics magazine? I'm not so sure, you know what I mean? Because, like, I feel like Flash Gordon and, like, uh, you know, those types of Buck Rogers sort of went by the wayside for characters like the Fantastic Four and superheroes to sort of come to the forefront. So it's kind of, you know, if they, like, we haven't had, like, a really great, great Flash Gordon or Buck Rogers in a long time. Like, why not? Like, is there not, like, an audience for that? I feel like there should be. You know what I mean? Definitely Flash Gordon feels, like, overdue for a comeback. I feel like I'm hugely off topic. You know, this uh, this story is pretty straightforward. It It's funny because I was looking at this and... Um, I couldn't help be, but be struck with the notion of, uh, is that like a young Kirby? The other thing that I thought was kind of funny is like Jack Kirby, even if you see pictures of him at 20 years old, he always seems like a middle-aged man or something for some reason. Like, I feel like he was one of those guys who was like sort of like born with a cigar in his mouth and just like a gruff guy since the day one. But a sweetheart, a teddy bear underneath it all, right? 
Um, what I do admire about Tom Scholey is like, and the uh, cartoonist Kayfabe Gibes, is they clearly have a huge love and reverence for the craft. You know, sitting here looking at this, it's beautiful. The color choices are amazing. The execution is good. I'm loving the layout. You can tell that a lot of thought went into the design. And I just kind of like the whole overall aesthetic. Um, there's a reverence and love for comic books here. You know, I think these guys uh, definitely know how to uh, respect a comic book page and showcase it in the be best way possible. I'm a fan of hand lettering. I think that this is hand lettering. And the art is just gorgeous. You know what I mean? I think a lot of times, like, you can't help but think of, like, a cover song. Like, you don't want to do a shitty cover song. So if you're going to do something like this, you've got to swing for the fences. And I think he definitely has a home run here. This it came and went with, like, little to no fanfare, um, from what I recall. And, um, like I said, like, it, it smacks a little of, like, experiment, a little bit of a vanity project. But also, I think it's really compelling and, like, um, really cool that, like, for a creator to, like, sort of, you know, just do, like, something ambitious like this. You know, the copyright is credited to, um, uh, the Rosalind Kirby Trust and Tom Scioli. So, obviously, he worked out a deal with, um, you know, the Kirby, uh, uh <clears throat> what do you call it? Uh, I don't know. Uh, you know, uh, oh, to make this happen. So, but it's really fun. Like I said, it's definitely a throwback. Um, what I was going to say earlier, and then I interrupted myself, which I am wont to do, but, um, uh, you know, what seems like tropes in here, I imagine are just like impactful and new and fresh at the time. You know what I mean? It's like, there are so many things, uh, superhero comic tropes and like sci-fi comic tropes but once upon a time they were new and fresh and not really a trope like this big wormy looking gross monster i have to say like um uh tom Scholey has a very subtle sort of classic style um you know it's interesting be to know that this is uh based on kirby and i'd love to see the original kirby art i wonder if this is homaging whatever Kirby's art must have looked at the, at the time and um, curious about the evolution. You know, you do see so much of Kirby in this, but there is definitely a lot of Tom Scioli in here as well. Um, just really beautiful, like, composition on the page and the layouts. Just um, totally taking advantage of the format. I love the monochrome. I love this sort of newspaper print of the cover color. And then the very sparse use of like one color throughout, like this red color. Um, very interesting. You know, you get panels like this and they definitely evoke, you know, like Flash Gordon and um, those great old books from that era. Um, I kind of love like the simple, the simpleness of it. You know what I mean? It's like, it's very nostalgic and fun and beautiful. And um, I have to say like, um, you know, when I just did my Big Bang book, um, me and the artist Brian Payne, whom I colored, um, were definitely going for like a Tom Scholey kind of look. And I have to say, in retrospect, looking at this gorgeous Tom Scholey art, I think we bowled it up. How's that for a bold proclamation? This is just a really fun, great book. I recommend it. I think it's very interesting. And like I said, definitely feels like sort of like an experiment in a lot of ways. I would love to see more projects like this come along. I definitely like a passion project like this, and I think it's great. So Jack Kirby's Star Warriors, starring Adam Starr and the Solar Legion. If you missed out on it, I definitely say pick it up. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that like button, and I will bring you more soon.